And I am a parent, but my son already graduated from Westside in June. Now, you had uh, shared with us some of the issues that you were concerned about in public education and uh, the similarities that uh, you were able to identify with in terms of wanting to get better from it. All right. My son attended Catholic school for 10 years, St. Mary's and Elizabeth, which I love the school, but he wanted to go to public school. I said, okay, I'm going to put him in West Side. I know what classes my son took. My son's always been on the honor roll. So when he gets to Westside, as a junior, they're telling him he had to take algebra. And some of these classes that I thought were nonsense. All right, he's already taken two years of Spanish and passed it. And um, it's just that, to me, the curriculum they set up is not geared towards kids going to college. As far as him competing with other students after coming out of the parochial school, did you see an advantage? Yes, I did, because my son didn't struggle at all. He didn't, do, he didn't, he, if he put a little effort through, he could have had a 4.0 the whole two years he was in there. Now, you took advantage of what we can consider to be school choice. Why did you take him out of Catholic school, even though you knew that he was improving? I took him out of Catholic school. It was a financial thing right at that time. I'm on total social security disability. So I said public school could not hurt him after 10 years of Catholic school. So the, the end result, the reason why you took him out of the better school was basically because you couldn't financially Financial. handle it. Financially was the reason and also I knew he couldn't be hurt by a public school at well, that point. Well, would you have kept him in Catholic school if you were able to afford it? Yes. We need to change the curriculum for schools. They need to be better. One thing that um, a lot of people don't realize is that even though we all come from a different area in New um, Jersey, low test scores, not enough um, textbooks in the schools, um, supplemental tutoring not being offered in a timely manner. Um, Where do you think the root of the problem comes from? Um, one of the ways I think we might be able to improve these problems is getting more parents involved in the children's education. Do you think funding is a problem? Funding is definitely a problem because if there's not enough money to pay for the textbooks, where are the textbooks going to come from? But has there been enough money at least to try to correct some of the problems? But see, we don't want to correct some of them. We kind of want to correct all of the problems, okay? We want all of the children to have a quality education. In terms of the competition rate that many of the students are being able to be provided in public education, does it seem as if the problem with them not being able to compete is because it isn't adequately funded? Not only not adequately funded, but the things that they need to know to compete is not being taught to these children. Why do you think that is so? Um, a lot of it's got to do with the teachers not being properly trained. But there has been money provided for teacher training. They have a number of different um, programs where students are out of school for practically a week where teachers are being trained. Don't you think that that's effective? I'm not sure about that, but what I do know is that these children are still not passing the tests that they want them to pass, so there's got to be a breakdown somewhere. The teachers are not teaching them properly, or they don't know the proper stuff to teach them. Do you think school vouchering is a good idea? I'm not too familiar with the program, so I'm not going to comment on that. Do you think that um, if a parent had an opportunity to choose the school, that they wanted their child to go to and this child was not uh, and, and the choice was not a public school would that help the parent? I think it may. I think to a point it was effective when we were when we were picking programs that was going to further our children's education those programs were effective when we were just 
picking programs that were going to keep the kids busy or keep them out of somebody's hair, those, those, those programs were not furthering their educations. So social programming, in effect, doesn't seem to work. In most of the private schools, even in the charter schools, they do what's called competitive learning, where they actually instruct the youth on how to be able to compete for different opportunities in furthering your education. Is that part of what you're saying is necessary? Yes, yes that's necessary. Uh, stuff like um, knitting and crocheting, and how is that going to further their minds when they're teaching them how to sew, stuff like that. We want them to be competitive in the job market, and if they're going to have home economic stuff, I think they should be getting that from at home, from their parents. We send them to school to learn classroom work, to be able to pass all of these tests that they're giving them, okay? And this other stuff is not helping them with the test. Do you have children in the school system? Yes, I do. If you had an opportunity to get a voucher to send your child to a choice school, would you do that? Actually, I'm very happy with the school that my daughter is in. She's in a, she's in a school that's classified as in need of improvement, but she is thriving. Now, have you had an opportunity to compare your school that the child is going to with the schools in the district that you're in? Well, I've, I've compared it with other districts. There's only one middle school in my district, but the middle school where she, the district that we used to live in, it was, Neptune is much better. Okay. What, what do you think is going to be the outcome of today's workshop? Um, there's going to be more unity with the statewide education organizing different committees because we are, as you see, we are throughout New Jersey. Um, we're going to leave here with better ideas on how to strategize and reach the goals that each chapter is trying to do individually. Well, thank you very much.